All right, Guy, and it was much more than a ride. An unexpected act of kindness has forever changed one man's view of police officers. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 6. There is an uplifting story making its way around the Internet, and it ended right here in Detroit. That's right, a young man's journey to get home, aided by an out-of-state police trooper who went above and beyond. Mark Ross needed to get from Indiana to Detroit, but an unexpected stop in Ohio is what changed everything. Jason Colthorpe spoke with the young man whose Facebook post is touching hearts today. Jason? Carmen, Mark Ross was on an industrial cleaning job in Indiana when a family emergency had him rushing home, and he wasn't about to stop until he saw the skyline of the Motor City. I got a phone call around 3 o'clock in the morning. The phone call Sunday morning was from home. Mark Ross's 15-year-old sister Eliza had been killed in a car accident. We call her Lala. She was amazing. So Mark and a friend immediately started back for Michigan. Just into Ohio, they got pulled over. His friend had an outstanding warrant and was taken into custody and the car towed. Then an amazing thing happened. Ohio Sergeant David Robison offered to help get Mark home. He asked me, like, man, come on, I'll just take you, man. You got to get to your family, get to your mother. You know, my mother was really depressed at that point. And so I just took up my pride and I got in the car with him. It was an emotional 100 plus miles before Robison stopped. But before they parted ways, as I was getting out the car, he just reached over and was like, Mark, can I pray for you? I'm like, sure, go ahead. I need it. And he said one of the most meaningful, heartfelt prayers, you know, and it really touched me. Like, you made me really see a light that I already saw, but, you know, there's just so much stuff going on around the world right now. But he really opened up a door for me, and I'm so humbly grateful for, it, for that officer. That's when they took this photo that's now been shared more than 100,000 times, along with Mark's message. I had no intentions on this going as viral and making the changes and the groundbreaking revelations that all cops are not bad, bad cops. He hopes his experience can calm some of the unrest in this country, but for now, he's focused on laying his little sister to rest. I really think I gained a brother and an angel at the same time. Originally, when this story broke and was getting a lot of traction, the thought was Robinson drove him all the way to Detroit, which wasn't true. He drove more than 100 miles, but uh, his friend actually came and met him and took him the rest of the way back to Detroit. Robinson, by the way, was invited by the family to Eliza's funeral. He has accepted, but right now, services have not yet been planned. Reporting live tonight, Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4. Now, what about this petty warrant out for for him. Did Mark have a petty warrant out for him? He did have one, Carmen, that's right. Uh, but his warrant was out of Wayne County, and it was small time enough that Wayne County didn't want to come pick him up all the way. It would have been a three-hour trip. Uh, the officers were more focused. He said it was more than just Robinson, too. There were a group of officers, and they all talked to him and mm -hmm. assessed the situation and all wanted to get him back to his family because he knew, they knew they, his family needed him. Oh. And they certainly did. And he made a friend at the same time. Or Jason Colthorpe yep. reporting for us live.